This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, you're looking at a view of the Progress 38 resupply ship as it continues uh, to move well away from the International Space Station. Today's uh, docking of the Progress uh, to the International Space Station was aborted. Uh, that uh, was confirmed officially by the Russian Flight Control Team to Station Commander Alexander Skvortsov about 15 minutes ago following uh, its flyby of the station due to an apparent loss of uh, telemetry, a loss of lock, if you will, uh, between uh, the Corps automated rendezvous system on the Progress and the um, comparable core system on the Zvezda service module. At about uh, 11.30 a.m. Central Time, some uh, 28 minutes before the planned docking of the Progress to the aft end of the Zvezda service module, it was reported uh, that there was a loss of uh, telemetry. The link uh, between the active side of the Corps' automated rendezvous system on the Progress itself and the passive side of that system on the aft end of the Zvezda, the docking port itself to which the Progress was to have linked up to today, that uh, aborted uh, the docking process and forced uh, the progress to fly a safe distance past the International Space Station. The progress uh, was at least three kilometers away at that time and is now more than six kilometers away from the station, continuing to phase away as uh, the orbital mechanics dictated does. Here in the uh, Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Flight Director Mike Lammers, uh, along with the visiting vehicle officer, Richard Parker, uh, determining that uh, the loss of Corps telemetry uh, told uh, the progress essentially uh, to continue on its uh, path uh, and fly past uh, its intended docking target, the Corps The Corps was uh, to have essentially brought uh, the progress in automatically, as it does so often, for its uh, automated docking uh, to the aft end of the Zvezda service module, in this case, uh, because the Corps lost its telemetry link uh, with the station Russian segment. It uh, could not uh, begin its fly around to precisely align itself uh, with the aft docking port of Zvezda, and thus flew safely past the station. This uh, is a view. Uh, of the progress uh, at a distance of about six and a half kilometers away from the station from cameras on the International Space Station itself. Now looking at uh, one of the solar arrays on the International Space Station's U.S. segment. When the uh, word came from the Russian flight control team officially that uh, no other attempt uh, would be made to try a second docking attempt uh, today by the progress the uh, Russian crew members on the station, Alexander Skvortsov, Mikhail Kornienko, and Fyodor Yurchikin, were told to go back uh, to their normal uh, complement of activities uh, for the remainder of the day as uh, the U.S. flight control team here at the Johnson Space Center uh, maneuvers um, the station uh, back into its normal orientation uh, to enable uh, the solar rays, uh, one of which, uh, one set of which you see here, uh, to uh, continue to absorb uh, the normal complement of sunlight uh, from the sun as those arrays track the sun and uh, provide uh, the proper electrical generation for the station's systems. It is not uh, clear at this point. Uh, no official word has come as to when the uh, next uh, docking attempt could be made. Generally, in a case like this, uh, the orbital mechanics uh, the ballistics, if you will, of the two spacecraft flying independent of one another, the progress and the station, would imply that the next docking attempt could not be made for another 48 hours, but uh, we have no official uh, confirmation of that yet from the Russian flight control team in Karlyov outside Moscow. 
this view uh, of the Russian uh, International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Russian Mission Control Center just outside of Moscow.